بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ اسٹینگ سیف اینڈ ہیپی ایٹ یو ہومس آئی ایم یو جی کے ٹیچر مس فرہین اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو یو جی کے کلاس مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ایز یو آلریڈی نو دیٹ وی آر آن یونٹ نمبر ٹویلو آف یور جی کے ٹو بکس اینڈ ڈو یو ریمبر دا نیم آف یور یونٹ دا نیچرل انوائرمنٹ اینڈ ریسورسز اینڈ ٹوڈے از اٹ سیکنڈ لیسن ایز یو نو دیٹ وی ہیو ڈن دا فرسٹ لیسن اینڈ وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ اے لاٹ آف نیچرل نان لیونگ تھنگز اینڈ لیونگ تھنگز سو ٹوڈے لیٹس ری کیپ اٹ اینڈ دین وی ول موو فارورڈ ٹو ورڈز اٹ سیکنڈ لیسن کوئکلی آنسر وچ تھنگز میک آر انوائرمنٹ کون سی چیزیں ہیں جو ہمارا انوائرمنٹ بناتی ہیں کلیکٹیولی آپ کو پتا ہے اس بات کا لیونگ تھنگز اینڈ نان لیونگ تھنگز میک اپ آر انوائرمنٹ دیکھیں ہمارے انوائرمنٹ میں دونوں طرح کی چیزیں ہوتی ہیں لیونگ تھنگز بھی ہوتے ہیں اور نان لیونگ تھنگز بھی ہوتے ہیں اور جب وہ کمبائن ہو جاتے ہیں تو ہم کہتے ہیں کہ ہمارا انوائرمنٹ بن گیا ناؤ لیٹس آنسر دا سیکنڈ کوشچن واٹ از نیچرل انوائرمنٹ نیچرل انوائرمنٹ کیا ہوتا ہے where there is everything natural not man made okay that is called a natural environment with natural non living things and living things which living things are included in natural environment which living things are included in natural environment quickly tell plants animals human beings very good which non living things are included in natural environment now you have to name the non living things natural non living things number 1 sun air water rocks mountains these all collectively are called the natural non living things and they make up the uh, natural environment Now let's move forward my dear students towards an activity. Now we will start lesson number 2 with an activity which is given on page number 87 of your books. It is an independent activity. What the teachers will do now let me tell the teachers first that they have to divide the students into the groups and then the groups will move around into the school. School ka ek tour karenge. and also you will provide them with a worksheet jo main aapko abhi aage show karungi isi table ki tarah se wo worksheet hai jisme bacche apni recordings karenge sari aapko table nazar aa raha hai screen pe ye aapki worksheet form mein aapko milega now interesting part students ko ek hunt par jana hai aur unko living things non living things natural living things uh, man made non living things jo hain ان سب کو دیکھنا ہے جو جو بھی ان کو اپنے رستے میں ملیں گی اور اس کے بعد اس کی ساری ریکارڈنگز جو ہیں دے ہیو ٹو میڈ دیم آن دا ورک شیٹ ناؤ آئی آلسو وینٹ آن اے ٹور یو کین پوز دا ویڈیو اینڈ ٹیک دا اسٹوڈنٹس آن دا ٹور بٹ بفور دیٹ اسٹوڈنٹس کین آلسو واچ مائی فائنڈنگز واچ واٹ آئی فائنڈ آن مائی ٹور ہے یو کین سی فرسٹ آف آل آئی وین آئی لک آؤٹ فرام دا ونڈو آئی سو دا سن it is a natural non living thing then in my room there was a dispenser it is man made but on the top of it you can see water water is natural non living thing and the dispenser is a man made living uh, non living thing now we will move forward to my tour then i saw a sparrow on the tree it is a living thing i saw a tree in the garden and it is also a living thing then i went to the library and i saw a lot of books these are all man made non living things chairs man made non living things Then I moved towards the computer lab and I saw a lot of computers, chairs and tables all are man-made non-living things. Is that clear? Now my tour ends here and I will move forwards to, to forward towards the worksheet. This will be provided by you to your by by the teacher and let's quickly have a look at the worksheet. You have to write your name and your class on the top of it. Then there is written 
natural resource, anything present in abundance and meeting a people needs is called a natural resource. Okay? Aisi cheez jo ke environment mein bohut zyada paai jaye aur wo natural ho, Allah taala ki binai di ho aur usse human beings jo hain wo koi na koi faida uthaye, wo usko hum kehte hain natural resource. For example, pani, bohut saara ek jaga par hai in a lake, in rivers, that is a natural resource. Hawa aapki bohut zyada hai jo ke hume trees se mil rahi hai oxygen, that is also a natural resource. Aapko bohut zyada fruits ek jaga se mil rahi hai, that is also a natural resource. The sun is the main source of energy. It is also a natural resource. So anything that is natural and in abundance, बहुत ज़्यादा है और उससे हम फायदा उठा रहे हैं. That is a natural resource. Now it is a scavenger hunt because so first make a prediction. Will you find more natural resources or man-made resources? I think we will find man-made resources. Then write your prediction on the clipboard. यहाँ पर हमने अपनी prediction लिख दी कि मुझे लगता है कि ज़्यादा man-made चीज़ें मिलेंगी. Then we will move forward to the next part of the worksheet. Okay. Next, write down the things you find under the correct category. So what I found was chairs, tables. They were non-living. And they were man-made resource or natural resource? Man-made. So this is how we will finish the worksheet. Number two, I also find computers, books. So same thing will come. They are non-living and man-made. Number three, I found water, sun, plants animals so what are they they are living uh, so th th these are non-living water and sun are non-living plants and animals are living and then comes natural man-made resource these are natural and this is also natural. So my dear students, as you can see that the, this is how you will finish the worksheet. And at the end you can see was your prediction correct? I will write yes. Then how many each did you find natural resources? So I found one, two, three, four natural resources. And one, two, three, four. Four out of four. Four. Um, they were also pencils and um, pens. So this will be five. So this is how you will finish your worksheet. You will also write the conclusion ke aapki prediction thik thi ya galat thi. Then you will also write ke aapko natural resources kitne mile total mein. Aap wahan par likhenge end par. Or man made kitne mile. Wo bhi aapne, you also have to write their total. Okay, this is how you will finish the worksheet. This will be really fun. Okay, follow the timeline and follow the rules. Then we will move forward towards what are natural resources. Natural resources are which you can find in abundance, jo aapko bohut zyada mile. And they also occur naturally. Ye natural hone chahiye, man-made nahi hone chahiye, then they will be called natural. And they must fulfill the needs of human beings. Ye hamare kisi na kisi faide ke hone chahiye. Then they will become a resource. Okay? Koi bhi cheez jo ke bohut zyada taadad mein ho, usse hum faida uthaayin, uske storage se, that is called a natural resource. Or examples kya hai? Sun, mountains, air, plants, plants, water and land. These are all natural resources. Now we will move forward towards that you can see here different natural resources, sun, plants, then mountains, then you can see water, 
air, clouds, these are all natural resources. Now we will move forward towards page number 85 where there are student learning outcomes given. Today we will do uh, student learning outcome number second and third. Recognize that natural resources are essential for the survival of human being and today we will cover sun as a natural resource and we will recognize the importance of natural resources. So that means we will recognize the importance of sun as a natural resource. Okay. Now we will move forward towards the Islamic perspective. It is God who made the earth for you to settle and the heaven as a canopy. We designed you and perfected you, your design and provided you with wholesome things such as God, your Lord. So blessed be God, Lord of the worlds. So Allah Ta'ala ne humare liye ye tamam nemte banai hai, ye tamam resources banai hai, taake hum in se fayda uthaye aur Allah Ta'ala ka shukar ada kare. From here, we will move forward towards pre-reading question. Quickly answer them. Name some natural non-living things. Natural non-living things. Sun, air, water, land. These are natural non-living things. Name some man-made non-living things. Books, computers, pencils, pens, chairs, tables, fans, AC. These are all uh, a man-made non-living things. Very good. From here, we will move forward towards the main reading, le uh, reading lesson. It is given on page number 87. Quickly open it and pause the video. I hope everybody has opened page number 87. We have already done the activity. We will move forward towards the main reading. Natural resources and their importance. Quickly put your fingers where I will read. All the natural things, whether living or non-living, are gifts of Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty. When such things are in abundance at one place and enough to meet the needs of people, it becomes a resource. So that means jitni bhi living or non-living things hai, wo Allah Ta'ala ka humayi li gift hai, natural things. Or, agar ye abundance mein hongi, bohat zyada tadad mein ek jaga par hongi, they will become a resource for us, agar hum isko istamal karenge. Human beings need food, water, air, sunlight to live. Each of the natural resources is important for us. If there is a lack in any of them, people could not live or survive even a week. Lack ka matlab hai, agar in mein se koi bhi cheez thodi ho jayegi, to living things or human beings cannot survive, wo zinda nahi reh sakte, ek hafte ke liye bhi. Again, put your fingers where I will read. These natural resources support life and life related processes. We may find natural resources on land, in water and air. Hame natural resources kaha kaha milte hai? Land pe bhi milte hai, water me bhi milte hai, air me bhi milte hai. Humans use all the resources mentioned above to meet their needs. Let's study them one by one. So my dear students, we have learned natural resources and I have explained it before. Now we will study them one by one. First of all, we will study the sun as a natural resource. Padhenge. Now the sun as a natural resource. Again put your fingers where I will read. Sun. Sun is the main source of heat and light. It helps plants to prepare their food and grow well. The well-grown plants and their parts are produced, processed and used by human beings. Moreover, the heat of the sun regulates the climate on earth. So my dear students, you have sun ke baare mein padha. Ye kya hai? Number one, it is the main source of heat and light. Two things ho gai. Again, what it does, it helps the plants to prepare food. Number three, 
एंड नंबर फोर इट ऑल्सो हेल्प दैम इन ग्रोइंग आपने फोर थिंग्स पढ़ ली जो कि हमें सन हेल्प कर रहा है ठीक है अगेन इट अगेन इट रेगुलेट्स द टेम्परेचर ऑन द अर्थ देखिए सन के कितने ज्यादा फायदे हैं सबसे बड़ा हीट एंड लाइट का सोर्स है इसके अलावा ये प्लांट्स को बड़ा होने में और फूड प्रोड्यूस करने में हेल्प करता है आपके अर्थ के ऊपर ये टेम्परेचर को और क्लाइमेट को भी रेगुलेट करता है अगर सन नहीं होगा तो बहुत ज्यादा सर्दी हो जाएगी सो सन इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट विदाउट सन लाइफ कैन नॉट एग्जिस्ट ऑन अर्थ नाउ लेट्स रीड अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ सन ड्यू टू सन लाइट प्लांट्स बिकम एबल टू प्रिपेयर फूड एनिमल वर्ल्ड as well as humans depend upon this food so its key importance kya hai ki both plants and animals depend on the light and heat of the sun so aaj humne sun ke bare mein padha sun is a, is a one of the natural resources now we will move forward towards the practice so you have to open page number 96 in your books take out your notebooks and we will do question number 2 what are natural resources quickly tell me anything in nature which is in abundance and meet people's need or fulfill their needs is called a natural resource so you have to write it down in your notebooks you can also take help from the screen any natural thing present in abundance and meeting a people's needs is called a natural resource from here we will move forward towards question number 3 name five natural resources very easy sun water air land plants these are some natural resources so you will finish it in your notebooks and we will move forward towards your evaluation quickly answer the question question number 5 till question number 8 what is a natural resource anything naturally occurring found in abundance and mix and fulfill our needs is called a natural resource name some natural resources air water sun these are natural resources why is sun important sun is important because it is the main source of heat and light question number 8 what do we get from the sun we get heat and light from the sun very nice from here we will move forward towards your homework so for homework it is uh, you will do question uh, question number 7 from the writing exercise given on page number 96 you will do this question in your notebooks so question number 7 on your screens how is the sun beneficial for living beings sun kaise jo hai wo human beings ke liye beneficial hai it is the main source of heat and light plants and animals depend on sun for food okay you can finish your homework like this there is another homework worksheet for you worksheet number 3 you can see on your screen it is very easy you will write down your name in your class your teacher will provide you with this worksheet write any four benefits of the sun char aapko fayde likhne hai sun ke i will write first two and you will write the next two it gives us heat light and you will write the next two okay easy it's very easy okay finish it you can also take help from your adults from here we will move forward towards your wrap up of the lesson so my dear students today we have studied about the natural resources any natural thing present in abundance and meeting up people needs is called people's needs people's needs is called a natural resource resources which are not made by uh, resources which are not made by man are natural resources aise resources jo allah taala ne banaye hain human beings ne nahi banaye उनको हम नेचुरल रिसोर्स कहते हैं सन प्रोवाइड्स अस विद हीट एंड लाइट और हमने सन के बारे में पढ़ा कि वो हमें हीट और लाइट प्रोवाइड करता है आई होप नाउ योर कॉन्सेप्ट्स आर क्लियर अबाउट द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एंड यू नो दैट सन इज आल्सो अ नेचुरल रिसोर्स एंड प्रोवाइड्स अस विद लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट्स कीप एवरीबडी अराउंड यू सेफ हैव अ गुड डे एंड अल्लाह हाफिज